like it when you back up to something kind of interesting to look at a little bit. Big old oak tree. Trees flowering already. It's a little bit windy here, so I hope you can hear me. A lot's going on, and I've got my student. Seems to be really, really, really motivated. I was in Little Rock. We had, I had done a load swap with a guy. Completed that. Had the empty trailer. All set. Put in my ready to roll macro. And I got a phone call pretty quick from one of the other uh, fleet managers, not mine, saying, would you like to repower a load that's there in Little Rock? Meaning, not swap, but repower means there's a trailer sitting there loaded that for some reason the driver was in and either the truck was being serviced or something else is going on and they wanted to get the load down the road. And I said, no, I don't say no. I said, sure. So I said, what's the trailer number? And lo and behold, it was like right next to me and it's a, it's what we call our, our Georgetown load. They're pretty much all the same going there. Not real long, we can cover it with one tarp. It's all bar, it came out of Fort Smith. This is the way it came. Uh, it was good for my student to see it. We did a real good inventory of everything. And then we had to head over to the um, equipment shed and get everything up to snuff. We didn't take the time to do this kind of, of thing where we would maybe loosen these and get them down a little better. but. We wanted to hit the road, so we, we took care of all that. We got him kind of situated in the truck, and I just started driving, and we thought we'd see how far we can get. Well, I had a full day, so we, uh, we drove right basically to the closest truck stop to the, to the receiver. So it's about like four or five miles down the road. Unfortunately, we have a 2 p.m. appointment. I know you can get there early. I don't know how early. You kind of hang around. There's a place on the periphery you can hang around. Um, we don't want to start our clock any earlier than we have to, simply because you know we could get home today if things work out right. You know we could run up to Ghent, get a load of uh, stainless steel, and uh, make it home, or we could run up to uh, Silver Grove by Cincinnati and get a load of uh, gypsum. We could, we could run over to Louisville and pick up uh, across the river in Jefferson. We, we get a lot of loads there. A lot of, of places to go. It's uh, 9.30 right now. Our 10 hours is up. We got in like 11 so. And uh, we came to this pilot and I had to, uh, you can see the little sign up here by the front of the truck. This is uh, what you call a pay to park, but we didn't really have an option unless we wanted to pull over on the side of the highway somewhere or some road, and I, I just don't do that. Uh, I think that I maybe use uh, the pay parking maybe, you know, once every month and a half, two months. I don't mind. It's, it's like 12 bucks. You know it's there. It gives me a little bit of added flexibility to run later and I know that I can I can get parked. Parking's a big issue. I started shooting the video when I was in Little Rock of the facility, sir. And I didn't make it everywhere. I got interrupted terribly. But I might put up what I have. Um, hopefully I will. But I showed you basically our, uh, I didn't go inside you know, buildings where, um, you know, like our training center show you the base and everything. I, you know, I just, uh, but if you're interested in coming to, to Maverick, this is the, the place you would be. And, uh, it's pretty impressive. I don't know of any place that could rival it, to tell you the truth. I just don't see it. So, it looks like we'll get home either late tonight, which isn't so good because then, you know, you're 
I, I, I want to start my 34 as early as possible. But, uh, you know, if we can make it, we'll drive home. And then I'll probably have to drive him to his home. He lives, like, probably 10 15 minutes from me. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then, because he didn't have a car, and he probably doesn't want to wake his wife up. Or she may be working on it. And uh, so we'll... We'll play that by ear. Otherwise, what we'll do is we'll, as soon as we get loaded wherever we are, we'll get somewhere to park and then get up as soon as we can. Like I did, I think it was maybe last weekend or the week before, where I got in at home about four in the morning. Worked out for a little while. Uh, ideally, we'd get a load out of Ghent going to like Chicago. That would be great. But uh, just don't know. Anyway, yesterday was a 500 and I don't know how many miles, 580 miles a day. Drove from Little Rock up to here. It went by fast. We talked and talked and talked, got to know each other. Um, it's pretty exciting. You know, when the student first gets on the truck, and a lot goes through their mind. I think he said he slept really well. So I like that. That's important. I imagine that um, I'll drive today, and then when we start out Monday, that's where we go. We're going to get him behind the wheel, and uh, I got a feeling he'll work out fine. 